Let him increase and we will increase much of all. All glory to the one and only one Lord. We are not standing for ourselves. We are standing for the only one God. His name is Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. Say Amen. amen. My dear brothers and sisters, now we are going to hear something about faith and healing. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the most controversial topic ever in the spiritual world actually. One side faith, another side healing. Majority of the Christians and the spiritual people, they are very much supporting the spirit of faith. Not only is confused about faith, we need faith. If we have faith, we can conquer the mountains. And majority of the Christians and the spiritual world, they are supporting this, this portion of the spirituality. And when we take the spiritual side of the healing, and many and majority are also supporting the healing side of the people in the spiritual world. Healing of the cancers, healing of the tumors, healing of the great diseases and everything that we need by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the name of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, when we think about faith and when we think about healing, people will support the separate topic of faith and healing. But when we come closer to God and when we think about faith healing, many are confused. Many think that they don't get faith, healing through the faith. And we have to understand what is faith and what is healing. And what does it mean by faith healing? And when we understand the diversity of faith healing, definitely the power of God can manifest in your life and we can heal our problems and we can come forward our, our areas and problems by the blood of the love of God in Jesus' name. Say hallelujah. There are two stages for faith healing. One is that some people are depending on others and the people are healed by someone's faith. This is the first stage of faith healing. And the second stage is that the people are depending on their own faith and they are getting healing and they believe that they can be healed with their own faith. That means faith healing by their own faith. Today we are going to share and discuss these two stages then we undergo the service of this session too. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, first thing is first. The foundation story is that our God is an awesome God and His name is Jesus Christ. When we think about Jesus Christ, He is a powerful God. He is not a simple being. He is a God Himself. When we read in Colossians chapter 1 verse 15, the word says that He is a visible image of invisible God. He is not a human being. He is not a simple magician. He is a God. He can, he can heal you completely by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is the focus of this topic. When we think about healing, don't think that He can heal you 10%. He can heal you 20%. He can heal
spiritual anointed people, we are getting the healings. And when we come closer to God, and when we are praying along in the spirit, many times we are getting the failures in our life. What is the reason? When we are depending on so much faith, when we are depending on so much anointing, we are getting healed. It is by the faith of someone else, and we are satisfied, and we are going back to the, our home. Again, the second stage, when we are depending on the side of healing, and we feel that we are not getting healed, because we feel that our anointing or our faith is a lacking and a deterioration, or our faith is not up to the maximum or a level. And what is happening? It is not because of any lack of faith or anything. You should understand that in faith healing, two sides are there. One is healing by someone's faith, and the second one is healing by our own faith. When we come closer to God, the initial stages of faith and healing is when we are attending a retreat, when we are meeting a spiritual people, we are getting healing. It is to induce you or it is to encourage you to come closer to God. That is why the Lord is providing that kind of healings. Hallelujah. In the beginning stage of our spirituality, we will wear this kind of healings. When we are depending on some, someone's anointing or someone's faith, we are getting healing. This is what the Lord expects in our life. The second stage, we have to more depend on that, and there we have to get the healing through the name of Jesus Christ. The first stage is the beginning stage, and the second stage is the maturity stage. When we are depending on our own faith, Lord expects the same thing in our life. We have to depend on our own faith, and we have to claim the healing from the Lord God Almighty, and then we have to receive the blessing and healing from the Lord God Almighty. It's the Lord. And when you read the book of James, there is a word from the Bible, every good and perfect gift is coming from heaven. Many people in the world, or majority in the spirituality, they consider that Jesus is good for supernatural healings. He is a creator, he is a creator of the universe, so he can control all the universe, he can control the sun, he can control the planets, he can do some multi-miracle for the uh, supernatural level. But my dear brother and sister, you should understand that our God is not a supernatural God. We should understand that our God is a God who wants to be with his own children. His name is Emmanuel. That means he wants to be with his own children. He is controlling the planet the same level. He is also controlling your head or your senses and each and everything in your personal life. Our God is a personal God and He wants to intervene or He wants to interfere each and every matter in our life. That is what God expects in our life. Hallelujah. Let us take two examples from the Bible. We can take the book of Acts chapter 3. Where is the person Peter and John? They are just walking near to the church. And one crippled person by God, he was lying in the floor. And he was begging some money or some kind of things from Peter and John. And Peter, this was an answer from the Peter when you read Acts chapter 3, verse 5. Look at us. Look at me. I don't have gold or silver in my hand, but I have a name. That name is powerful than any other name in the world. And in the name of Jesus Christ, you can stand up and walk in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Peter and John, healing a person, it is not because of anyone's faith. And this person is getting the healing by the faith of Peter and John. This is the healing, the first stage of healing by someone's faith. In the book of Matthew chapter 9, 20, 21 and 22. There we can see a woman. She was undergoing a kind of problem with bleeding. 12 years she had this problem. And she had something in the mind that if I may touch at the garment of Jesus Christ, definitely I will be healed. Praise the Lord. And if it is the garment of Jesus Christ, 
life will be healed. And this word says that we can form that this woman is getting healed through the faith of her son. She believes that my Jesus, my God, is an awesome God and the power of healing is behind him. So she just at the cloak of his Jesus Christ and she will be healed. It's the Lord. Some years back, I met a couple in another country. And the couple came there for a counseling. And they said that the, the, the doctor told us one thing. The doctor told us medically it is very difficult to get a child in our life because the spare count in my body is zero percentage. That means the mortality in the spare count that is zero percentage. And the doctor told, go for an adoption or some kind of solution in your life. Everyone was sympathetically they consider these couples. When we are praying, Lord I mean that I'm going to give a child for you. And you have to put your name, the name in Joshua. And you know you will have a baby boy and the name of that boy is going to be Joshua. And immediately this lady and this girl said, Brother, I believe in my God. Whether with the medical sense say yes or no, I don't worry. Within two years, this lady brought the child and put the name of that baby boy name in Joshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, what is happening in this situation? One side, one person is getting healed from someone's way, and another person, they are getting the healing from their own way. They said only one God. Our God is a different God. Our Jesus is a different God. Our Jesus is an eternal God. So He can heal me and He can comfort me. So I believe in my God and my Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Actually, the Bible, Romans 6, 37 says that we are more than conquerors through the name of Jesus Christ. This is not the time of milk. This is the time of the heart materials in the spiritual world. We have to undergo the entrenchment of spiritual faith in our life as personally. Whatever it may be, or whatever may be the situation, my dear brothers and sisters, spiritually we have to grow in our, our individual faith. The healings in your life, it is not going to be very easy. Don't think that we will get blessing and healing in a simple level. My dear brothers and sisters, we have to fight, we have to resist the devil, then the devil will flee from you and after you will get the healing in your life. We are not a simple people. We are the soldiers. We have to fight and we have to resist the enemy and we have to cast the blessing from the Lord. Actually, faith healing is a warfare subject. When we are listening to this work, we should understand how we can undergo this kind of faith healing in our life. What does it mean by the faith healing? We should understand what is pain and what is healing. Then only we can claim the power of faith healing in our life. The Bible says that something we can see, something we are expecting, something we are hoping, that is faith. Hallelujah. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. When we read the book of Hebrews chapter 11 says, the word says that without faith, you can't please God. That means the word of God will be there. Jesus died for you and he crucified for you and the blood of Jesus is there. But you should understand that if you want to please God, you have to keep the faith towards to God Jesus Christ. It's the law. When we read the book of Hebrews chapter 11, Bible says about some people and some characters in the Old Testament. When we think about Abraham, Hebrews 11 says that by faith Abraham, by faith Jacob, by faith Isaac, by faith 
Sarah, by faith Moses, by faith Rahel, by faith David, by faith Jephthah, by faith Daniel, by faith Samson, by faith Gideon. And when we read Hebrews 11, everywhere Bible says that by faith all our ancestors they received the blessing from heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, the word says that without faith you can't please God or you won't get any kind of blessing in your life. It's the law. We can conquer the kingdoms. We can conquer the enemies. We can conquer the darkness. We can conquer the cancer. We can conquer the tumors. We can conquer the allergy. We can conquer our headache. We can conquer all our problems. Only through the faith in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Only through the faith in Jesus' name. Not by medicine. Not by any other power. You are healed only because of the name of Jesus Christ. That is why Peter says that I know how God medicine was nothing silver, nothing in my hand. But I have a name. That name is powerful than any other name. In that name and walk in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. When we read the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17, where it says that faith by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Believe. Believe. We will get faith only through the hearing of the word of God. Many times we consider that Bible is nothing. It is just a book. But you should understand that when we read the book of Hebrews chapter 4, the Bible says that the word of God is a double sword. It can penetrate any cells or organs or any part of your body. Bible says that the three parts of your body, especially body, soul and spirit, all the three areas, the word of God can come and penetrate and you will get all the three areas to the faith of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You can attend the ten thousands of prayer meeting. You can attend ten thousand of retreats. But if you are not carrying the word of God, your faith will be so so or some kind of neglection in that area. Don't think that we will get healing in a special way. Healing can come to only to the chemistry of Jesus Christ. There is a formula for Jesus Christ to get healing in your life. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. I am the Lord who heals you. This is a famous word in the Bible. Everyone claims this word in their life too. When you read Exodus 15 26, the meaning of this word is like that. If you follow my commandment, if you carry my word, if you follow my word in your heart, if you keep, keep the word in your heart, I will not bring any kind of damages which I brought in, the, in Egypt that will bring in your life. Hallelujah. Because I am the Lord who heals you. Ma chapter 11, 22 and 23. Have faith in God. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, Go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen. It will be done for him. If anyone with faith command a mountain to go or settle in the sea, that will take place. Is it possible? Can we change the mountain? And this is a simple word in the Bible. Any problem which is standing like a mountain in our life, that can be smashed, that can be nullified, that can be taken away only through the fire or the anointing or the power of the word of God which has to be declared by our own mouth. By faith, we can change boundaries. 